uh, possibly the background music, I don't know. I am Detroit. I only control the quarterback. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, here it is. I have been getting my ass handed to me on sacks. Uh, first drive, I got sacked twice for big losses. Nope, 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 nope. If there's a timeout, then it won't let me fucking, yeah, see, it's going to go for the field goal. What the fuck? Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Uh, so yeah, two big sacks in the first. In the first drive caused me to... Yeah, I know. My quarterback's been rushing his ass off. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't so want to I threw my first interception. I know, I know. So the first drive, two big sacks, uh, they fucking sacked me on third and seven, right? First play, sack, second play, yeah, so they sacked me on third and seven. So I go for it on like 4th and 20 because, yeah, I was pissed. The second drive was not much better. So, I rushed through my first interception of the season, and we're in like week eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. Oh, now, but in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good edge steam going. Four stop to his left. Wow. <laughs> and get this wow. shot in midfield, he'll spot it at the 49. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Up, Space, and he takes off. Back to throw. Come on, come on. Yes! And Jones has it over the middle. Boom! And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they better put that ball to the side, because with that catch... He's a new single-season receiving yards record holder. Hey. What a fantastic year. And we saw it so wow. early, didn't we, partner? Right out of the gate. We knew he was going to have a tremendous year. But who knew it would culminate in breaking this all time Wow. Record. That well, is fantastic. Afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. 
They come up here on first and ten. All right, here we go. Looking to throw. Third. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Go on, go on. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Abdullah has been playing like shit. My running back. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, come on. I'm out of halfbacks. I had to fucking put my, uh... When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Detroit! Detroit! On first and ten. Got a man right side, it's sharp. Yes, I'm aware that's not that productive. Especially when I got fucking dude chilling right there, right? It works. Because if fucker doesn't bite. I think it's okay that they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, on, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when the other targets are open. Being chased that way. He can run for it, and he'll be taken down by the Dukes have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him Yes, go I have scramble and pick up a really bled the clock. The five -yard line. All right, here we go. 319! 319! And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Amir Abdullah. His sixth touchdown of the season. <laughs> sixth of the season. In all fairness, I did. I mean, he. Look, there's been some injuries. And I can't control the uh, running back. So there's that. Six. Oh, first and ten. Second and inches. Third and inches. Sacked. No. Yes. Well, Charles, an absolutely thrilling finish there at the end. <laughs> end the final play. Got it close to the goal line, but couldn't punch it in. How much uh. fun was that ending, though, for us? Right. It up. I had to. You had to get out of your seat for that one. That close to the goal line? Oh, that was fun. <sighs> so for Detroit, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they eight and next one. Next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile for Atlanta, the Vikings are terrible this season on this game. On the season. And they'll get a chance I believe it's 2023 next week. of a no 2024 of a uh, for us, I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Matt Charles 19. Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long everybody.
and I will just add to that. Um, only played the fourth quarter. Did not force you kids to watch a whole game of drunk ass me. But who? Shit was exciting. Which me dragging ass and slowly scoring that touchdown makes me think that I made the right choice. Because if I scored that touchdown 30 seconds quicker, they probably would have tied it up in overtime. Anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, I might do a live stream tonight. Depends if I can settle down on my script for the video tonight. We will see. Anyways, thank you kindly. Have a wonderful night. Thank you very much. Game, you can't see Panda as much, but he was cheering me on. Alright. Ah. Uh, man, I really, really like that. That went pretty good.